colours while this morning um, going to do something a bit different to what I'm what I'm used to. Uh, we're going to go out and try and hunt some geese with the bow. It only recently came to my attention that um, shooting geese with a bow is legal up here in the NT. I had no idea that it was legal, so it wasn't really on my radar, but only about 10 minutes away now. The sun's just coming up. Yeah, it's, geese hunting's pretty new to me. Uh, I've done it once before with a shotgun with a couple mates, but other than that, I'm gonna be learning as I go. But anyway, we'll get out there and see what we can do. Righto, well, I've just pulled up at the property. This property is actually um, big mango orchards, which up here in the Territory, this time of year, like, this is where all the geese want to be. They're all around all these mango orchards, so. And right now, like, I'm literally watching hundreds of geese fly over the mango, the mango orchards, and I can see them circling down and landing down in there. Uh, just as I was driving up through here down the, like, corridors, I can see, like, a hundred geese sitting down there, so I'm super pumped up. I'll see if I can get some footage for you of these geese flying around just now, but we'll get after it. Righto, straight away, I can tell this is not going to be a simple task. I've started stalking towards a couple groups of uh, geese, and yeah, I'm pretty sure they've spooked from like 100, 200 metres away. I can still see there's a lot of birds around, but some of them are flying really close to me. God, you'd clean up with a shotgun. I've just spotted some geese down one of the corridors, like 300 metres away. I'm just heading there now. It looks like there's hundreds sitting there. The property owner spoke of, um, spoke of like a leaking pipe somewhere that they hang out because the water's gushing out all day. I haven't found it yet, but hopefully I'll come across that. Come back to the car, which was surprisingly far away. I don't know how many k's I've walked already, but I just I need to change my tactics. I've barely gotten within 100 meters of these geese yet. Like they're in that big of flocks, like over 100 birds at least, all together on the ground. As soon as one of them sees me from 
yeah, at least 100 meters away, 200 meters, you know, they're all gone. And they don't even, they're not, they don't seem to fly that far, just maybe an extra 100 meters, 50 meters, 200 meters, whatever, not that far, but they're just sort of staying, yeah, quite frustrating, they're sort of just leapfrogging away from me. So I'm thinking, I, I want to see how spooked they are of the car. If I can drive around and they're not that spooked of the car, you know, I might be able to make something happen there. I also just want to drive around, check out different parts of the property. This area where I am now, most of them seem to have moved out of this, this sort of area. It's quite a large property, so, man, it is hot. A little bit of breeze right now. Pretty much the first breeze I've felt so far. End of the year in Darwin. It is freaking scorching. We'll go for a drive. See what we can find. Literally every single corridor here is hundreds of geese and they're not spooking too bad I think because I'm not stopping the car I feel like they might spook as soon as I stop the car I think what I'm gonna do is turn around up here so that my door is on the other side I'll be able to get out hopefully without them seeing that same thing they're spooking and they're landing just like they're staying the same distance away that 150 200 meters they used to being shot at by shotguns it's like they know what range they can be from shotguns to be safe now I'm just walking fast here because those geese are actually walking away from me probably as fast as I'm walking yeah and they're gonna leapfrog again Geese, man.
well as you just saw that uh, that was a very unusual way for me to uh, shoot an animal with a bow basically walking around earlier this morning like I wasn't even able to get within 200 of them so I've started a new method I was trying was just driving around, sort of driving the car towards them, which wasn't spooking them as much for some reason. I thought the car would have spooked them just as much because I'm pretty sure shotgun shooters come around here and shoot them out, out of the back of their utes and stuff. So I thought the car might actually spook them heaps, but didn't seem to. So I was kind of just sticking with that for a minute and I sort of just started driving now one of these corridors just towards a whole heap of geese and I look at the side and sort of a few of them had spooked up ahead of me and I look at the side and there was sort of one flapping away on the ground like it was a bit injured or whatever and he sort of only flapped he sort of only ran maybe 25 meters um, sort of to the right of the corridor I was driving on and he sort of just stopped under a tree and I, I stopped the car and I was like oh sh nah he's gonna spook He's going to speak for sure. Literally got out of the car, like got my bow ready in the car, opened the door real slow, got out. And he still, he was just sitting there, he was, had his head up looking at me. I just kept moving, all my movements were super slow. Got out, got the bow ready, and I was like considering drawing back and just shooting him right then and there just with the GoPro filming. But then that part of me was like, nah, nah. I don't, I don't like just filming stuff with the GoPro because... Well, anything with the GoPro looks shit in my opinion, in terms of shooting, like everything looks super far away, so I was like, nah. Took a gamble, opened the back door of the car, got the camera, the big camera out, set the tripod up, set the camera up. He still hadn't spooked, I couldn't believe it. Anyway, drew back, just put it on his chest and yeah, let the arrow fly and yep, arrow hit right where I was aiming, I'm pretty sure. Good result to get, to get one on the ground. We'll go and have a look at him, eh? Here's that goose. They've bloody got some size to them. And some weight. He's gonna have some good meat on him. Hopefully the arrow didn't do too much damage, but I don't think it would have. I think I hit more. Well, I can see where the arrow exited over here. Higher on the chest than what the, the breast meat is. The breast meat's sort of more down here. And the arrow's sort of gone above it I think so should be all good in that regard oh yeah I think I can see here see on his leg that might be where he had a bit of an, in, bit of an injury low on his leg just there so all this meat up here should still be good I'm stoked with this stoked with this result you know I'm gonna keep trying still it's still pretty early in the day like <clears throat> I think it's only about nine nine o'clock so keep trying but yeah I'm stoked with this guys like this morning's been much harder than I thought. Like, I have not even been able to get close to these things. Now, shooting them in the air is one thing with a shotgun. Like, you know, when you're doing that, like, I've had that many birds fly over the top of me, but trying to sneak up to them when they're on the ground, when there's hundreds of them together on the ground, and under the, the canopies of these trees, you know, you can see for hundreds of metres. Like, and that's the level these birds are at. You know, they can see so far, and it's just impossible to sneak up on them. And yeah, I was really, really concerned that I wouldn't even be able to get one today. Absolutely stoked. Big old magpie goose. That's wicked.
Oh yeah. Like I said, 175 grand Kayaga pilot cut for a magpie goose. <laughs> definitely overkill. Yeah, this arrow is perfectly intact. I'll definitely be able to use this again. Big fan of Kayaga. I've tried a lot of heads and uh, yeah, this is what I'm sticking with for now. Absolutely no damage. Alright guys. Um, gonna get the breasts and legs off this goose. Uh, this is the first goose I've done. Uh, I've seen a couple of blokes do it. That one, the one time I went out shotgun shooting, uh, that was a couple t couple years ago. But uh, I remember a couple of things. But pretty like, how hard can it be, really? I also want to show that you know, for all those new hunters out there, you know, don't be too intimidated about going out hunting. You know, I've had a lot of dudes ask me about how to how to field dress game and stuff, and. You know, that they, they just have no idea, and I sort of say to them, just learn as you go, you know. But with these geese, I know you make a little slit uh, up here of the chest, and then you sort of uh, pull down the skin. Might have made that a bit too high. That's all right. And he pulled his bloody head off. Um, yeah. I thought the skin would come off easier than this. Well, that's all right. Just work it off. And we'll just work the breast meat off. Nothing too complex. Sort of like field dressing any, any game I've found, you sort of just Follow the bones, and it's really not that hard. Nothing to be too intimidated about. It's one of the breasts. Not perfect, but it'll do. Meat's meat. I'm just making jerky out of it anyway. I can. One thing I can tell though, if I had to choose, I would um, next time bring more of a flexible knife. Filleting sort of knife. Uh, there's got a bit of flex. Make this a little bit easier. There we go. Another one. Easy as. Now with the legs. This leg here. This looks like his injured leg. I don't know if you can see that. All heaps of bruising and stuff. That one's definitely not worth taking. This other one looks good, so we'll take the other one, but no point taking that, that one there. Pull this meat back, uh, skin, sorry. Just break the bone. Now that the bone's broken, should be able to just sli slice through the skin like that. Now, now we'll just uh, work that meat off. It's gonna be a joint in here. Just pop that joint. There we go. Same as a deer or anything really. Buffalo. Just pop that joint. That easy as. That's pretty much it, guys. Main point of me showing that today is I just want. Yeah, I just want those young dudes, those new dudes to it. I don't I don't want dudes getting too in intimidated and possibly not not getting into hunting or going for a hunt just because they don't they don't feel like they know what they're doing. You know, the best way to learn is just go out there and do it. I've never really had anyone show me much. Uh, I've just sort of learnt learn as I've gone. But yeah, we'll get these bagged up and see if we can get another goose. Rightio guys, I reckon that's going to do it for today. It's starting to get just stupidly hot outside. It's just after midday. Uh, late in the year in Darwin, it is crazy hot when you're out in the sun. You know, these tactics just aren't working today. 
the geese can just see me from too far away. Within 20 minutes of getting out of the car, then they'll, they'll spook, so. I know what I need to do next time. I think I need to bring some, get some decoys somewhere online, or I don't know. I'll, I'm sure I can find some somewhere and set a few decoys up under one of the dead trees and in the late arbor, and hopefully the geese will come in and give me a bit of a chance to actually uh, get a shot off. It's all part of it when you come out and try, and try things for the first time. You know, it's not always going to work out exactly how you want to. It's still fun to get out here. Got one on the ground. Not ideal situation, you know. He's a bit injured. You know, shooting him right from right beside the car. It's definitely a lot different to what I'm usually doing, but... It's better than nothing. I'll be able to make some... I'll try and make some goose jerky. See how that goes. Um, I guess I'll catch us later.